and so on. So the exponential function is defined for all mods. Right? This guy here too, eigenvalues, or you must have some measure of the size of this L. This L is going to act on column vectors and some linear vector space, so the norm of this L must be finite. As long as that's true, then this is going to happen. So a proof way of saying it is, as long as all the elements of L are finite, this is going to happen. Of course, the largest eigenvalue will guide it, but still, the fact is, as long as all the elements are finite, all the eigenvalues are finite. Too. So we'll take it that this always exists. Map is well defined. It's defined not just for matrices, it's true for operators as well. As long as the norm of the operator is finite, this converges in some well defined sense. Okay. So you have this exponential decay. Our question is what does it look like? What does the solution look like for the individual u's or for the individual x's? So this essentially says that x of t in that neighborhood is um, x bar plus e to the lt acting on x minus x zero minus x. So what will the solution look like apart from this uh, trivial constant? What will the solution look like if I wrote it out for each counter? It will be a linear combination of all the eigenvalues of this. So this x of t, or this u of t, this guy here, implies that ui of t equal to each ui will be of the form some k equal to 1 to n, uh, capital N, all the eigenvalues, e to the lambda k, t, multiplied by some coefficients, let's call them ci. This is what it's going to look like in general. Provided, provided the eigenvalues don't repeat themselves. If they repeat themselves, then these are not the linearly independent solutions. You have secular terms, you have powers of t. For instance, if you had a single eigenvalue, lambda, which is repeated once, then you just have an e to the lambda t. You don't have an e to the lambda 1 t and a lambda 2 t. So what are the independent solutions in that case? e to the lambda t and t e to the lambda So if an eigenvalue is repeated some uh, m times, then this will go on e to the lambda t, t e to the lambda t, till t to the m minus 1 over m minus 1 particularly, e to the lambda. Pardon? Pardon? L is not a symmetric. No. L is not a symmetric. I don't know anything about L. It just got real coefficients. I have assumed that they are real. It's not orthogonal. It doesn't have any no symmetric properties in general. The eigenvalues, therefore, are in general complex numbers. In general. The solution is real. So those initial conditions will adjust themselves so that you get real solution. So I start at this point next time and we'll analyze this because I'd like to know what's the behavior of this as a function of t in general and what guides, what does it depend on. We already know the answer, it depends on the eigenvalues. One final question, does this imply that L should be diagonalized? To find the eigenvalues, do I need to diagonalize the matrix? No. Yeah, I don't have to diagonalize. It's a square matrix with real coefficients, that's all. It doesn't have to be diagonalized. Okay. I simply have to solve this secular equation, this characteristic equation, lambda i minus L equal to u. This will give me the set of functions. Just an algebraic equation of a polynomial equation of the P capital N. And I solve and I get all the eigenvalues. They're repeated, not repeated, I don't care. L is diagonalizable, not diagonalizable, I don't care. Why not? This implies this. Yeah, that is me. But that implies UIT plus linear combination of everything. Yeah. What else can it be? What else can it be? Yeah. It's clear. 
for the yeah 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 you have to find all the powers yeah we will talk about how to find all the powers of these matrices in principle yes in principle you have to do that but if you give me all the case you you just have to solve a set of algebraic equations remember you have not put in the initial conditions yet so once you put that in you determine all the things so we will look at it explicitly